Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope for zodiac signs and this is from June the 18th to June the 24th and for you coming from Libra. Let's start with the 18th of June which doesn't start well for you at all. There's so much instigation, so much retaliation, so much aggressiveness, so much anger from these planets building up morning and afternoon session and they even seep through through the evening and nightfall session. So for the whole day, you have to take the soft approach, use words which are soft and action which is soft. And even if you are working or conducting business with business people, you cannot afford to be aggressive. Otherwise, this aggressiveness will bounce back against you. So since you have heard me, what should you do? Don't give up. Be the opposite. Be approachable. Be kind. Be supportive to the plans of others. And you will confuse all these negative planets and they'll leave you alone. And you'll be able to turn your morning and afternoon period and even your evening and nightfall period much better and better. Your evening and nightfall planets are planets that want to disappoint you and bring difficulties for you like accidents or retaliation from people. So start the day aggressively and you will end it, end it being defeated. Control the morning-afternoon sessions and you'll be able to control the evening sessions as well by being or taking the soft approach. And drive carefully. Don't be in the company of people who are excessive in drinking. The 19th of June doesn't start very well for you either. And the morning-afternoon periods especially become difficult where you don't get the good news you want and in areas of career business, uh, you are going to find that your disappointments will be seen. But don't lose heart because during the evening and nightfall session, plenty of solutions come. So lie low in the morning afternoon periods. Play a waiting game. Be supportive. Be agreeable. Have a wait and see attitude. And you'll find that your evening nightfall session in areas of career and business will bring plenty of solutions. In fact, I encourage you to mix business and pleasure. So socialize with business and career people involved. Regarding your uh, marriage partner or romance partner, you cannot afford to be arrogant through the whole day. If you are, you're going to spoil your opportunities of bonding. So plan socializing. And uh, even if you're, it's only going to be a friendly uh, family outing or a romance partner outing, it's worthwhile because your evening periods, they produce plenty of good results for you. So morning, afternoon, be very cautious. Evening, nightfall, you get plenty of benefits. 20th of June, for you coming from Libra, there's some improvement, but these are emotional planets and you will find that emotional areas are very touchy. So you cannot at your place of work or in business allow emotions to take over. Remind yourself every minute of the day to be factual, to be realistic, to use logic. And that way you will do better. Otherwise your emotional areas will want to make you do things which are not the best for you. Be careful what you say or do in the marriage and romance area as well. The evening really turns bad for you and so does the nightfall. And so from an emotional situation, a very touchy one morning, afternoon, it gets worse in the evening nightfall period. If you don't have to socialize, just go back home. If you do have to be out in business socializing or in career socializing, be very careful to conduct your behavior. Take the soft approach is my advice. You being sarcastic, showing action which is aggressive is going to lead you nowhere is going to make you enemies, is going to produce accidents. So you might as well, if you're going to behave badly or show anger, just go back home. If you do have to be out in the evening nightfall session and if you can take the soft approach, be approachable, be supportive, be kind, then you'll be able to turn these couple of planets into leaving you alone and you'll be able to make your evening session much better of the 20th of June. The 21st of June um, are planets which make you very bossy and make you disagreeable, make you dominating. So whether it's in personal areas, marriage, romance or in areas of career or business, you cannot afford to be like that. 
Tell yourself, I will be approachable and I will be flexible to the plans of others and I will not be stubborn. That's the most important thing. And you'll be able to improve your morning and afternoon session. I do really worry about your evening nightfall session which can go really very bad. So if you allow your morning afternoon to go bad, it'll become worse in the evening nightfall period. If you make your morning afternoon better, you'll be taming these planets who want to make you behave in a very arrogant way, showing your temper and becoming a perfectionist. And so if you don't do all these things, you can improve even the evening and nightfall session. The 22nd of June starts very well for you. Very fast planets are seen, they bring good luck, they bring support in all areas of your life. Good to discuss things with marriage or romance areas, good to be um, uh, busy in your career areas, talking to bosses and your colleagues. You become very inventive basically. And also the morning and afternoon session, good news comes very quickly for you in business areas. Evening and nightfall periods, a gathering of emotional planets are there. So you may tend to be a little bit too emotional, giving your heart away too quickly. I see nothing wrong in that, but tell yourself that all that glitters may not be gold. So take your time in the evening and nightfall session if you are meeting people you have not met before and don't get sold too quickly and too readily. But I like your evening nightfall periods because they do talk of socializing and they do, they do help you to have happiness in the socializing way. The 23rd of June uh, is when you become very lucky at your place of work and in business as well. And you will find that good news comes from your bosses and from your colleagues. Good news comes in business. So be active in the realistic of the uh, areas which include career and business. And you will do very well in furthering your ambitions in the morning and afternoon period. The nightfall period remains good as well, but only don't be stubborn and don't dominate. That applies to all areas. If you are going to mix business and pleasure, you cannot afford to be too pushy or to be stubborn in the evening and nightfall periods, or you may spoil the mood. And if you are out with your marriage romance partner, the same rules apply. Use words which are not sarcastic. Don't use words which are very sharp and retaliatory and try to be careful what you say for the whole day. The 24th of June is a perfectly good day, morning, noon and night. Everything you do throughout the whole day brings rewards and support. So good to socialize lunchtime already. Good to plan socializing in the evening as well. At your place of work, you will have brilliant ideas and you will find support from your bosses and colleagues. If you are in business, you get very good news and an, an enlargement of your portfolio in business or making good business contacts. So the whole day communicate, ask favors and you will see that you benefit a lot. Evening nightfall period adds to some unexpected things which are good. So meetings of, with people who are going to be helpful to you most unexpectedly is also seen. So the whole day try to be on your feet and just be out and you will see that plenty of reward comes to you. Well, that's my advice for you for the week. And uh, I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50, 50 for a 90 minute Skype session with me. That will be based on your date of birth, your time of birth, looking at your palms while we Skype and I'll be looking at your face as well. Your face has got 10 planets positioned there. All your features and all the where your face is made all belongs to the 10 planets and I will use them to also advise you about many things. So do go to Facebook, follow me and um, we can communicate, make a date to Skype or go to Skype itself. My Skype ID is Andy, A-N-D-I space Future Talk. Future Talk is one word, F-U-T-U-R-E-T-A-L-K, T-A-L-K, that's one word and leave me a message and I'll come back to you. I look forward to Skyping for you and I'll be able to be very accurate for your next five to six years in all areas of your life. Until then, thank you and good luck.